Hello and welcome back to Penumbra. Ah, we get to see Mr. Evil. Mr. Chatter himself. Hello. Oh, good lord. I'm not here. Oh my god. What the hell? Phil, stop freaking out, man. Look, is that, is that worse than Mr. Satan? Be honest. Of course, I would go with a yes, personally. I wonder if I can bludgeon him over the back of the head with a chair. Hmm. Probably not. I got a flashlight to tease him with. I think he's coming back. Are you coming back, Mr. Chatter? Hmm, I need to get out of here. Maybe he walks past the door. Do you walk past the door? I'd appreciate it if you did. I mean, do I just run past him? I can't see him anymore. Can't feel. Oh crap! He's definitely there. Hello. Good lord, you're ugly. Hideous, hideous effect. Flee. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Loading time. Screw you over, Mr. Chatter. What are you going to do about that, huh? Nothing. That's what. Ah, it's the dead scientist blokey. Trigger interface. Oh, God. No, no. Don't want to do that. Uh. Alright. Only trusted blood will get through. Nothing happens. Trusted blood. Dead guy. Syringe. Mmm. <laughs> oh, what? Chicken. Ah, oh, here's where we go. Poker day, whatever. So I don't know what the combination is for this. I mean, look. Clearly not. Nope. Trial and error for the win. Nope. 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 Guess not. Maybe something in my notes. Nope, that was entirely unhelpful. Oh, that's what's this. Hmm. Okay, let's pretend, right, that I didn't actually do absolutely tons of this video, get past this bit, yeah, work out all the solutions, being really witty and stuff, and then have myself muted the entire time because <laughs> no one's that stupid, right? <sighs> stupid. Bastard videos. Rage, gonna be angry. You know what? Screw you, Barrel. You're a wanker. I hate you. And you, Doctor. Dead Doctor. I don't give a crap about you. I'm gonna jam this needle right up your ass. Mmm. Tasty. Hope you like that, you prick. I'm angry now. I'm in a bad mood. Stupid. Stupid microphone. Actually, it was me. It's my fault. Go on, then. Let's work this all out. There we go. It will open. There we go. Cool. If this stronghold is anything like as elaborate as its security, I was in for experience. I didn't know what to expect, but I was getting used to that. Well, Phil, expect the unexpected. Then you won't have to expect anything. See? Ooh, a disc. Sorry, you're not going to like try and see me like puzzled on the like you know puzzle in here. Puzzled on the puzzle. Sorry, you get to read this now. So if you just pause the video here. And here, I apologise you can't read it, it's probably best to wait for the high quality versions for it to prop up. 
So I know it's going to be like tricky. But if you want, I'll give you a brief summary of what I was doing. Ooh, I was going, whoa, what am I going to do in this room? I pulled the switch down, like going, hmm, let's have a little bit of investigating. Oh, sparks, I said. Hmm, okay. That looks interesting enough. Oh, a monster in there. God. But sadly, there wasn't a monster. But gasoline. And pills. And batteries. I know, it looks, it's, it's not as fun because I've, you know, I've done all this now. I could, of course, redub over it, but that's not the same either. I didn't get too far, so if I, I can just quickly do this. Right, the general just says, took me ages for it's out. You set it on fire. You drag it underneath the sprinkler system. It sets it off, which opens the door down here. There we go. Which lets us in here. Good times had by all. Right then. And, some, and the pan just knocked itself over. Of course, I jumped like crazy on the first one. I was like, oh god, the pan. But, you know, I, I'm, I am sorry. I, I, I am upset. <sighs> and there wasn't anything in here, I don't think. No, uh, there was something in here. I did complain. I was like, mmm, cereals. Yeah, what cereals? What are these very tasty cereals? Why are you tasty cereals? Tasty flakes. Fuck you, tasty flakes. You're not tasty enough for me. Aha! I said. A torch. Good times. And absolutely nothing at all. I thought there was more than one. No, maybe not. A computer! Awesome stuff. Well, research.txt, if you would like to read it as I scroll it down, please pause it as you feel, if you feel free. Um, I would summarise it, but it's basically just giving you a bit of background information on um, what Hal has been writing and saying, wow, I sure hope Phil didn't come here. That would truly suck, because then, you know, it wouldn't be all great. And <laughs> funny enough, Phil's a moron, so he came. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm, I'm cynical. This is cool, though. This is well worth watching. Also, this is so like Vault 101. Welcome to Shelter Research Station, Greenland. Of course this was Shelter is an almost entirely self-sufficient installation built in the 70s to further serve the purposes of the archaic elevated caste in their pursuit and defense of ancient knowledge. That's not sinister. As a new member of the facility, there are some basic rules you should be aware of in order to be useful to the archaic. Shelter provides living facilities, including a mess hall, gymnasium, and medical bay, in addition to the stipulated array of laboratories, chemical and biological, workstations, excavation equipment, and security. Please use the former at your leisure, but expect to be assigned to the latter with a moment's notice. Second, due to the nature of our work here, should you feel in any way ill, lightheaded, or otherwise mentally incapacitated, do not report to the medical facility. Fasten yourself securely to whatever solid object may be available, attempt to seal all connecting doors, and await retrieval by our trained professionals. In a worst case scenario, be prepared to swallow your personal cyanide capsule, which will be issued after this briefing. The Archaic hates to lose its treasured staff, but it may be for the good of the operation. We know you will enjoy your work with us. <laughs> no. No, no you will not. Hmm, pass changes. I need 1167. Introduction, that's just what you've seen. If you want it in text form, for whatever reason. There you go. But we've, we jot it down in the notebook, in it. One, one. Oh. Stupid computers. One, one, six, seven. Door unlocked. Excellent stuff. I can. I'll save it in a minute. Now uh, turn this on. It's a timeline. If we quickly look at the timeline, we're literally back to where I was now, almost. So, page one. Page two. Page three. And page four. Please, again, stop the video when you want. If you want to look at it, and we'll save the game. Right, the timeline is basically it's just giving you the gist of what's been going on in these tunnels, you know. Um, it's nothing like... Uh, it's all background information, it's just nice to read, you know. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, door is locked. Can't go through it. So what I did, I was like, hmm, I was puzzled at this point. Pulled this. <gasps> A secret passageway? I am shocked, sir. This is where Phil decided to bitch that he couldn't go down here without, a, like, a torch. Because Phil's a wuss. Freaking ladders. 
There we got our torch no fill, you happy? Your penis.